Hello and welcome back. Here's an update. Tank is doing pretty good. Still running the uh, tank with just a little bit of filter floss and a small piece of mechanical sponge in the back and everything else is empty. The refusium is doing great. It's actually dormant right now. I'll tell you guys a story. This guy was closing up. So it caused me to have some concern. So right away I pulled out my master test kit and checked everything from calcium to you know, pH and nitrites and nitrates and all the other good stuff and everything was on board. And I said, man, I wonder what's wrong with them. And I started noticing he'd rock back and forth. So when I purchased them, he was in, uh, in sand. So I wonder if he has something stuck underneath. So I pulled him up and sure enough, there was uh, some uh, Fiji rock stuck underneath a, a big long branch kind of like that like that and I I pulled it out slowly you know gently and made sure he was okay with it and it took me a little time but you know after about two three minutes after trying to take the, the thing off he he opened right up he was so happy to not have that thorn in his uh underneath his uh, shell there. But that was kind of funny because I kind of scared me there for a bit. I was like, man, I said, I wonder what's going on with my water. Because I dose uh, the ionic two-part system. But he's doing good now. He's actually really happy. And he's... Uh, Surprisingly enough, he hasn't been closing like right away. He'll once the light comes on, he'll open right up and he'll uh, absorb all the uh, light. So he's doing good, just as everybody else is. So I've been getting some pretty cool growth. I'm getting like a lot of little weird things going on here. Um. I like those torches there. And burgundy algae. It's actually there too, I think. And right there. So I'm thinking about another week here. I'll probably, um, Start throwing this thing up with some uh, really nice corals. Thank you for watching.